Hello everyone, welcome back to Life is Strange. Uh, last time we left off, uh, we, uh, I think, we saved uh, Kate's life. Um, she was going to commit suicide and we uh, convinced her not to uh, jump. And then I think there was an eclipse, if I remember correctly. And this time we're going to be trying to escape somebody chasing us. I don't know who. Um, I'm not good with intros, so let's just get right into it. Gonna In get a the recap. previous episodes yep. of Life is Strange. Whoa. called film Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm how so sick is. of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey. Stelma and Louise, you're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Whoa. I was gonna say, wait, what? That what didn't are you happen. Doing here, Max? Now I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Hmm. I regret making, uh, accusing, uh, David, that his name, of, um, like, of, like, antagonizing Kate. I should have accused, uh, Nathan. Oh, well. She fell asleep at her desk. Episode 3, Chaos Theory. Someone get MatPat on the phone. Chaos Theory, new channel. Rabbit. Nightmare apparently. Eleven thirty four, really? I have something to show you on in front of campus. You Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. Okay. Mm. It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. She was basically pushed up to that roof, and I will use my power to find out why. This has to end. Hmm. I'm very, um, I'm very glad I was able to, uh, save her life. You know you're hurting when you don't give a shit about music. Eh. Ew. Thanks for the image, Nathan. And everybody here thinks Samuel is a creeper? I don't agree with the notion of, like, 
you know you're hurting if you don't give a shit about music because like I honestly don't care about music like at all so like, I listen to it just fine but it's not because I'm hurting or anything how did Sherlock Holmes deduce anything without the internet by using books and notebooks and whatnot glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate now she has another video of herself all over the web. And even I'm in this one. Katie Bay. Oh, at least the news didn't mention my name. Yet. True. Arcadia Bay Online News. Blackwell student attempts suicide on campus. A student at the prestigious Blackwell Academy almost jumped from the roof of a campus dormitory today, with most of the student and faculty as startled witnesses. Authorities confirmed that the student, Kate Marsh, 18, had been troubled, but information is scarce at this time. Dozens of cell phones recorded the event, which ended with an, I with an unidentified student talking Marsh down to safety. Click here for video footage and further details. Hmm. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. Um, missing persons list. Wow, it was nearly 12 years since a person disappeared. Uh, before Rachel Amber. Hmm, okay. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Wait, was there, was there Black, another? Hmm, I sure hope either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Uh, Kate Beverly Marsh, Taylor, get well soon. You are in our hearts. Victoria, sending love to you. Evan, thinking of you. Mark Brewington, we love you, Katie. Come back to church soon. Alyssa Anderson, we're all behind you, Kate. Courtney Wagner, hope you feel better. Father Lamont, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Zach, Black World Bigfoot's promise to win the next game for you. Aw, oh, sweet. Um, Evan Harris, you actually made me proud to be a Black World. Bravo, Max, bravo. Daniel DaCosta, eres una chica dura. I don't know what that means. Something, 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 girl. I don't know. Warren Graham, Max Power, Hayden, Jones, Epic, Brooke Scott. Watching you walk down from that roof with Kate was the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Thank you. Juliet Watson, way to make the headlines, Max. Dana Ward, you're a hero, Max. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. Everybody will be talking about Kate. Yeah, now. yeah. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. First I save Chloe, then Kate, and now you, Lisa. <laughs> Not a bad record for a week. There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. <sighs> all this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. And all roads are leading to my tornado vision. Hey, Bunny. Kate will be back soon, and until then, I'll be catering to your every whim. Oh, yeah. Are Got you a that. hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. I forgot that uh, Kate had the bunny. Yeah, I don't think I need that on. Um. Jeebus, I am so freaking tired. <laughs> I sound like a moron. But crime does not delay. I need to stay on top of this investigation. What investigation, though? Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Do you have all the time Pretty in the world? Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. Um... No English AP, apparently. Hmm. Okay. I didn't, it's okay, Max. I didn't mean to do Take that. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. I didn't. I just meant to leave. There's one singular okay, door open. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be. I was gonna say, what are you holding? Just your phone. Okay. Um. 
That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. Wherever you go, there I am. We'll wait for Kate, Brooke. I have a friend uh, whose username is too late for Kate, and that's kind of similar. It's very, very interesting. Where the hell are you, Rachel Amber? Rachel Amber is never coming back. I hope you burn bright again soon, Kate. Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forest of the night. What immortal I hope handle you burn I bright could again frame soon, thy Kate. fearful symmetry? Blake for Kate Marsh. Okay. So much hypocrite. Why is it hypocrite? Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. As far as you know. The end of the world might be coming before your party. I wanted to, um, I wanted to, uh, finish this before, like, the, uh, like, the end of the game. What is it? The 10th? 11th? That the ending takes place, but I just didn't have time to, like, dedicate several hours worth of playing um because now it's the 17th so i kind of missed it by like a week oh well i feel like you're guiding us along but where oh now the sun comes out it's been raining all day what are you doing hey max i saw you go up on the roof and save kate I can't believe she tried to jump. Mm. I'm not going to be a dick. I can. I'm just so glad she didn't. Are you okay? I'm just like shocked. I've never seen anybody try to kill themselves before. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> Shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. I won't say a word. I swear to dog. I hope I can believe you, Max. I'm my own person too. See you later. I won't be a snitch. Wait. I didn't mean to do that. Press the wrong button. Max. I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Oh man, like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Probably to hell. Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Thanks, Max. And it was, like, pretty awesome when you went up to the roof to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. There we go. Okay. I don't think there's anything <sighs> Victoria else. isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. And I can go into a room. She's actually in here. Since Victoria is God about as street as me, but she really appreciates style. Hold on. Okay, I can't actually go back. Oh well. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Excellent. Well researched essay with a unique point of view. A. Okay. Okay. Whoa, 
I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Color me impressed. Didn't I thought I thought Nathan's parents owned like first like a Rachel gallery. and now Kate. This is the end of the Vortex Club. Is it is it the end of the Vortex there Club? There has to be some dirt in here on Victoria. Well, yes. well. Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. From Victoria to Taylor. Hey, sweet tea, what's up? I'm just avoiding some lame-ass science homework. How can anybody do freaking homework after somebody almost jumps off a roof? I can't believe we all saw it live. It was like watching a reality show. And I've never seen the campus so quiet, like everybody's hiding or afraid. Yes, I feel like total shit for everything I said about Kate in that stupid video. Let's get some peeps to meet up later. This girl needs a serious curfew cocktail. We'll drink to Kate. The from Taylor to Victoria. What a trip that was today. Seeing Max and Kate like that, I need a drink too. Let me know the time. Mm. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. $30 for like dry cleaning? Victoria's secret. She's a geek. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Like $30 for dry cleaning isn't that bad. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. Unlike Chloe who gets loaded with Satan. Okay. I'll title this one Portrait de la assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. I was gonna say, where is she? She's off to the right. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. Well, you are basic, I can tell you that much. Those boots are made for walking runways. Yeah, I think that's the same thing as before. <sighs> Nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, <sighs> I'm getting paranoid. Yeah, there was nothing in there worth my time. Cool beans. Okay. I bet you'll party like it's 1999. Assholes. Okie dokie. Hey, can you come in here for a minute? Waiting for you, Kate. What's up? Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. Um... I think we're all responsible for what happened. True. But you're the only one who went up to that roof with Kate. I was lucky. That's all. No, girl. That was not luck. You made a choice to save her. Like a superhero. Then maybe it's time to catch the bad guys. So what exactly are you saying, Max? It's complicated. It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Dana looks guilty and relieved about Kate. She really does care. I am wiped out, Max. We'll talk later. Okay, I'm not gonna snoop through her stuff while she's here. Um, okay. Kate, just wanted you to know you're in our thoughts. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, here we go. Oh, 
fireflies. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. I didn't see many uh, fireflies this past summer, which is strange. Just take it all in. I feel so giddy, even after Kate almost jumped. Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. But I feel kind of invincible now. Mm. I don't know why you would feel giddy about that. It's more about being relieved. Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Samuel isn't around. The fact that I'm able to go in here makes me concerned. Nothing but tools. I have something to show you. Meet me in front of campus. Get that ass in gear now, Max. I'm on my way. Nothing here. Plus, it's like I didn't realize it was 13 minutes already. Well, that squirrel has hops. The one right there. Wait, come back. Hello, little friend. Care to join me? Hello, little friend. Care to join me? Huh. Okay. Um, I thought um, I would have been able to take like a picture or something of the squirrel. Maybe I was and I just didn't rewind fast enough. Or like far enough, I should say. Oh well. Let's just, let's just move on. Principal uh, Wells. Oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Well, are you just gonna... I think I understand. Max the Ninja strikes again. There we go. Hmm. I have to assume uh, David is going to get involved. Booyah! Jesus. That actually scared me. Get it? Boo, yeah. Like, scared. More like a scary asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. Is that a good thing you or a bad said thing? The right thing? And your badass power is gonna save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Chaos Theory. Didn't you say that it was all about Chaos Theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space. No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I see the results. And then it's too late to rewind. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Um...
I don't know if it's about like like clues to find either one of them or it's like about Kate or about Rachel. I promised Kate I would do right. that. For one thing, there's too much coincidence between the people around Kate and Rachel. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott? Yep. Not just them, though. Not just them. Yep. I just want to beat the shit out of those particular bros. I can still feel David's hand on my face. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Kicking it? Kicking it in Los Angeles? That would be the best case scenario. She wouldn't leave without me, okay? And how often do missing girls turn up? We have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Yeah. Boo. Throws tomato. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Boo! Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Hey. Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot this of time together. This is weird. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? It's so stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Yeah, student teacher relationship is kind of weird. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted like you did with the weed. Wow. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? Yeah, I was gonna say. Charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. It's more of trespassing. I'm related to the head of Blackwell Security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. Technically, your power is did save Kate because you froze time that allowed you to get all the way up to the roof. Okay, this is, isn't this the principal's office? Yeah, 
Why are we going in here? Um. Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. How to, how to Feed Your Inner Spirit Animal by Dr. B. Bakamon. Bakamani. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. It looks like a MAGA hat. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Why would the key just be laying around? Nothing here. Well, there could be useful information in those files. Dead end. Boring. I don't think there's that I don't think they're gonna be in here, but I I'm just checking Crap. I'm just double checking every single one because you never know. Oh, there's a key rack. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. Oh. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. What Thanks kind of lie is that? Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. You I'm sorry, I'm just not sure about a movie night right now. Don't hate me. And thanks for the help. I like how she didn't even say please. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Okie dokie. So I'm Clara WTF. Uh, it's just powder used to create chlorine di dioxide. Everybody knows that. So are you really going to try this? Keyword is try. I bow to your wisdom. Uh. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Release the crack hand. I hate you. The, the... It's all mine anyway. The dialogue is very cheesy. Um... So I need sugar, a soda can, duct tape, sodium chlorate. Only three more items to go. Okay, where do I get the rest of the items though? Gross. I hate that formalin smell. Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm barely passing science. The funny thing is, in my senior year, I, um... Ooh, sugar. I, I don't think it was my senior I think it was my junior year in You're high school. You're halfway home, Max. Um, I basically failed uh, science, but they just wanted to get rid of me. Uh, 
I never said they were great, troll. But yeah. Like, I barely... I barely got through science class. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Good evening, fish fish. I don't think everyone was asleep. Thanks, fish. Nice work. Okay, now turn it off. Please resume your slumber. Okay, what did Warren say? Uh, you still there? Did you blow up, Max? Still here, didn't blow up, not yet. I need to concentrate now, talk to you later. Uh, okay. Max, please call us as soon as you can. We are so proud of you for saving this girl and we want to know how you are. So please, please get in touch. We love you. Sorry, mom, I'll call you back in a few minutes. Swear. Thanks for letting me gush over our Blackwell hero. I miss your voice. We're very proud, so milk this moment. Let us know if you want to come up for a quick getaway, okay? We love you, Maxine. That's sweet. Um, so I'm missing duct tape. And I'm missing something else. What am I missing? I don't remember. I'm missing duct tape and sodium chlorate. I would have to assume that they're in here somewhere. So sodium chlorate is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. Uh, sodium chlorate. The properties of sodium chlorate is an inorganic compound that is commonly used as a weed killer. Toxicity, toxicity in humans, formulations, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so where would the other items be? I do not know. Oh, up here. Here's the sodium chlorate box. You're an artist, dammit, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. Okay, but how do I... Is you know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind I, power. Use the damn chair. I was gonna use the chair, but you didn't even give me the choice. So you don't need to be like all like, like Only mean one about more it. ingredient left. I don't know where to get duct tape. I don't think there was anything else in the science lab though. Okay, I don't think there's anything over there. This is like a scene in a horror film. It is. It really is. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer, <laughs> said Max, the art critic. Victoria, mm. that is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Those pictures were nothing to, like, boast about. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. I didn't see her as a smoker of, like, cigarettes. Like, I I see her smoking, like, like weed and whatnot. But not cigarettes. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Technically, you're making a, an explosive. So the explosive is the bomb, not you in particular. So glad you still have your locker, Kate. What would have happened if she did fall and kill herself? Would that say something that's like, like, I'm sorry that I couldn't save you or whatever. Okay, I can't go in there. Um, I'm gonna look around before I go back into the principal's office just to uh, look at everything. First Rachel and now Kate. This is the end of the Vortex Club. Well, I thought you would have said something different, but apparently not. 
a long time ago in a girl's room right here. Hmm. No trophy will help Blackwell's reputation now. True. Okay, I don't think there's anything else. Oh, Rachel. I know you and Kate are connected by all this. Okay. Have all the things. You're welcome. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. It just blows up the entire school. Cool. Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Um, how about you run? Hold on. Shit, shit. Do something, Max. Oh, I understand. I understand. I think I understand anyways. Take it. Um, go in and then rewind time. Yes. If I can get this bastard open, she can't cheat with a rewind. Oh, this is bullshit. Fuck you, door. Ha 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 ha. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. I went through the window. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. Okay. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be a Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. My mother haunts. God's ever woke in my hellfire inside. So did you blow the lock, Unabomber? Oh please, I just wanted to see if you knew your explosives. And to see your incredible artwork. Mm. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and wow. sweet. And in the wrong place. Kate Beverly Marsh, GPA 3.9. Kate Marsh represents the very best of the students at Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is consistently outstanding along with her optimistic attitude and quiet work ethic. Her extracurricular activities with the Meals on Wheels program has been acknowledged on KBAY 7 News, and her diverse religious studies group has been a welcome addition to the wide range of student-led spiritual programs at Blackwell. She also has one of the best attendance records in the school's history. Principal Wells, as the school nurse, I should inform you that Kate Marsh appears to have experienced some recent emotional or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly and she was upset but vague and, and refused to talk further with me. I think it's important that we keep our eyes on her and make sure that she's not under duress from other classmates, as is my suspicion. Regards, Anne-Marie Branchi. Update. 
At present time, there is a security investigation into a controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at a Vortex Club party that has been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during the party. See the attached files for complete details. Only two more files to go. Hmm. Okay, turn you off. Okay, keep you on so I can actually see this. I certainly can't use this. Why not? Look at this pile. Tumbleweeds. Okay. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Student Information Sheet, Nathan Joshua Prescott, GPA 3.7. Nathan Prescott continues his family's historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also popular with students and faculty. He stands as a proud representation of Blackwell. Well, that's bullcrap. Let's nab like I'm not gonna read my own personal file. Okay. Maxine Caulfield, 2.8 GPA. Max, as she prefers to be called, is considered a quiet, attentive student with much potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates and she, and she has acknowledged she should be doing better. Her teachers back up her quiet intelligence, though some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. Some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive. Others would like her to be less so, but this is a common student suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Update, despite some recent confrontations with Blackwell security, Max showed herself to represent the very best of Blackwell Academy by stopping fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof today. At this time, there was an ongoing police faculty investigation, but, but Max's hero heroism is undisputed. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. Victoria Mary Beth Chase... GPA 3.9, Victoria Chase is the gold standard for Blackwell Academy, a student with a consistently high GPA in extracurricular activities that reflect her career goals in photography. Victoria is also Victoria also receives high marks from faculty from her for her devotion to the Vortex Club, among other organizations devoted to Blackwell's spirit in history. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Well, 4.0, Warren Graham. Warren is considered an ex exemplary student and represents a long tradition of excellence in science at Blackwell. He has a gift of curse of gab, depending on her on the faculty. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, but this is not confirmed by his science teacher, Miss Grant. We hope Warren focuses on his academic vision and continues through his bright future. Okay. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. Oh my god. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Rachel Dawn Amber. Unfortunately, Rachel Amber has stopped attending classes for the past month, and she's left no contact with students or faculty for the past month. Her parents are at the present unaware of her whereabouts, and Blackwell hopes for her quick return to continue her academic excellence. Rachel Amber is the quintet. Quintet. I can't say that. Quintet. Quintessential, quintessential, there we go, student representation of Blackwell Academy. She ex excels in all of her studies and extracurricular activities, which are numerous. Popular with both students and faculty, she has the de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modeling. There was no doubt that Rachel would achieve all of her dreams with Blackwell as the fulcrum. Principal Wells, this is Lieutenant Chris Rossi. 
Just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our on our end. We always hope for that one magic clue, but once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do for, for now. Thanks for all your help, Chris Rossi, Arcadia Bay Police Department. God dang it. I wasn't I done. I think we found everything in here. I should... I wasn't Man, done yet. I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad, Chloe. There we go. Chloe Elizabeth Price. GPA 1.7. Wow. Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell despite the best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academically. Chloe does little homework and is often willingly, willfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fo fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with poten potential, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution. Chloe Price is no longer a student at Blackwell. See attached police reports. There we go. There we go. Okay, I'm not going to talk with her just yet. Whiskey bottle. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. I wouldn't drink at all if I was the principal of Blackwell. Um, hold on. You're not so tacky up close. Eh, it's still tacky though. If I would have signed the petition, I could have made the difference. Well, I didn't know there was a petition to be signed, so that's my bad. Dear Miss Grant, as principal of Blackwell Academy, it is my sad, unpleasant, regrettably, regrettable duty to inform you that your petition to block the new surveillance system has come up literally a handful of votes short. It is not my policy to take sides in these matters, as we encourage the faculty and student body to participate in the school's operation. I recognize the controversial nature of these cameras and rest assured they will be implemented with the utmost concern for privacy. Thank you for your passion and for inspiring Blackwell students to make their voices heard. I hope they will not be too discouraged by the outcome of your petition. We are proud of them. Best, Principal Wells. Well, that's my, that's my bad. I guess being a bully is in the Prescott DNA. Principal Wells, it's come to my attention the Prescott family crest has been removed from the library wall for no apparent reason. This local historical crest is required as per the donation terms to the library, or the donation will be rescinded, among others, for the school. Along with that, I understand that the tragic event involving Miss March... Miss Marsh gives you pause, but I would suggest that canceling Thursday's party is not conducive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. Thank you, Sean Prescott. Wow. Okay. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is me. teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? The Prescotts always get their money's worth. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. It's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, 
And now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely True. get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the wow. handicapped fund. Wow, Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Don't give me the choice. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Don't give me the choice. Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself. I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. <sighs> I don't... I don't know what the right choice is. Like, if it was me, I would leave the money. But I don't know how that's going to affect me. Forgive me. Frank knows things about Rachel, and he might talk if he's been paid, right? You are Supermax. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. We'll stock up on tats, beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, and strip clubs. Kidding. But you never know. I feel like shit for taking that money. Well, oh well. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Prescott, we regret to inform you that Nathan Prescott has disrupted various classes over the past month despite repeated warnings and leniency due to a crude outburst in Miss Hoyta's intro to literature class on Tuesday, September 17th. Nathan was sent back to his dormitory for the day without a proper write-up for his files. Nathan has enormous potential but also erratic behavior patterns that may need supervision beyond Blackwell's ability. The school cannot tolerate these disruptions, so we hope you will discuss this matter with Nathan to impress upon him the severity of the situation. Please see the attached files for the full reports. Update expunged record. Dear Principal Wells, we received a rather outrageous and possibly slanderous letter from somebody in administration accusing Nathan of uncharacteristic erratic behavior patterns. We're certain this must be a mistake, otherwise we fear that we will take Nathan out of Blackwell to a more prestigious and better funded institution. Please respond with a copy of the expunged disciplinary, dis, disciplinary warning report. Can't speak. Blackwell Incident Report, Nathan Prescott. The following is a list of reported incidents involving Nathan Prescott. There seems to be a pattern of outbursts and confrontations followed by remorse and repentance. We suggest his parents remove him from the school and, and place him under expert psychological supervision. Throwing a desk in class, cursing at his English teacher, lighting firecrackers in the bathroom, stealing school supplies, threatening the school custodian, Attempted theft of campus Tabanga statue. Okay. David Matson and Nathan Prescott have both come to my office to warn me that Rachel Amber has been a drug mule in Mr. Madsen's talk radio termino terminology, acting as a front for another local dealer. Considering Rachel's exemplary status, I told David that I would need more concrete proof, and he promised he had more to show. I was surprised to get an unscheduled visit from Rachel Amber. She seemed quite upset and claimed that David Madsen was following her and taking photographs. David would deny this and given the questionable company Rachel has been keeping, I am not certain I can believe her right now. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Leave the school building. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is out. No. You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. We deserve a little mindless fun in the water. 
We're done for the night anyway. We're rich, and nobody busted us. So? Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. This game did not age very well. Regarding, like, the... Thing. Cool! I just got a notification, like... Like, a while into it. Like, an hour into my stream. Thank you, Twitch. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Hold on. I would love a soda, but I'd just get wired. I would like a soda too, but I'm not gonna drink it. Boys or girls? I'm, uh, while I'm streaming. Um, hmm. Does it matter? Girls, of course. Girls. Ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Okay. Okay, I don't. I actually don't have the time to investigate this caper. Lost goggles. I admit I'm a goofball and misplaced my flexawave swim goggles. If found, eternal gratitude and a $25 Bean Hip Cafe gift card. Ray Siren. Okay. I hope the otters will survive. The Earth can't wait. Inform yourself, then share. Become an eco volunteer today. Climate change. If only I could solve the mystery of the missing cat pics. Oh yeah, it's the missing cat pics. I remember that. I don't need to read that again. Um, what's it? Trophies. Go otters. Go otters. That's all you have to say about that. Okay. <gasps> A sock. How scandalous. Where does that other sock go? Into the dryer. To disappear forever. Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. The American Drive-In Theater. I really want some popcorn. That really sounds good right now. But not just like microwave popcorn. Like, go to a movie theater, get some popcorn. Those are some musty-ass old shirts. Yuck. I don't care if it's stale. If I could rewind back to the 1940s, I'd get in serious trouble. Girls can swim too. Swim classes for young ladies. Hmm. Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. Want. They look okay. They don't look like the comfiest comfy towels ever. Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? Fun fact, I can't swim. A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Oh, Kate's locked. Like Rachel Amber? I was gonna say, what? Like, who's trying to run away? So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your... No... Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. And these are cool shots. Like, the left and the right one are fine, but the second one kind of terrifies me. The wit, it burns. Otters eat beavers. True. Okay, I don't think there's anything else to look at here. Okay, let's go. This isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. Anything in the toilets? 
I hope so, friend. Rachel abides. Well, we care, dickhead. Who wrote this? Dear kid, I don't care, God. Terrible. Terrible stuff. This isn't a desperate cry for attention. Oh, yeah, or anything. I read that already. Um, okay, I'm not gonna talk with her just yet. I want to, um, I just want to see if there is anything to, uh, look at around here. Because I don't know if I'm gonna get the, uh, the chance to, uh, look around. I want to be as thorough as I possibly can. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything. <laughs> okay, doesn't look like there's anything. Which is surprising to me. You think there would be something? Wait, I can go in here? Okay. Why did you give me the choice if I can go into here? This one is almost empty. The guys must like their pink goo. Uh, uh, gross. Max Caulfield. Moral Avenger. Or self-righteous hypocrite. That's gross. Pink goo? No, no guys like pink goo. Welcome to 1950. I don't think it was in, in 1950. Huh, it's nice to know Victoria loves something besides herself. Nice burn. Sometimes. No worries, it's all bad. True. Oh, Nathan's locker. What's gonna be in here? It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs. Ooh. Right? Are they drugs or are they like medications? Because there is a difference. Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? Tell me why another don't nod game. Zach is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? What happens when you're around? Victoria, hey, thinking bad things about you. Zach, cool, what are you wearing? Just my cr crystal necklace and phone. Hot. What are you wearing? I'm in the locker room, only wearing a jersey, sitting on my football. Is that a euphemism? That feels like a, new, a euphemism. No way am I touching Zach's jersey. Okay. Doesn't look like there's any more lockers around here. Okay. The door is closed. Oh, Logan's locker. Wait. Oh, I was going to say. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. Okay, last one. I guess I should consider this evolution. Dana, I know I'm an a-hole, but I still care about you. Love, Logan. Well, it's nice that someone cares. Okay, let's go, um, let's go progress. Sex me up. Dana needs a baby daddy. Mm. Okay, then. Okay. Let's go for a midnight swim. Chloe just couldn't wait to splish splash in the pool. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. Okay, where would the light be? I would assume it would be on the other side of the, uh, the pool. I could be wrong, though. Like, there's so many, like, tiny little things that you can just whiz right by them. Is there anything back here? Quest list. Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Oh, guest list, I should say. Decisions, decisions. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Your names are not on the list. You'll have to eat shit now. Butterfly effect. Butterfly effect. Hmm. 
I'm confident in that choice. Okay, where is this light switch? I would think it would be over on the other side, but apparently not. Oh, I, I don't even think look anybody has ever drowned here. I hope. Oh, it would probably be in there. In case I run out of air, I know where to come. There has to be a control panel for the lights around yes, here. Yes, I know. It's right there, but I'm not going to uh, look at it just yet. I wanna, I wanna be as thorough as I possibly can. Look at as much stuff as I can. Aw, look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. I need to go watch uh, Halloween Town again. Now I have the power over light and death. There we go. Cool. Don't even think I'm gonna make a move on you. Weird. It's in here. Yes, we get it. Otters. Otters. Never seen one. Seen a beaver though. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Okay. Do I need to go change? I have no idea. She just jumped in. Time to do or dive, Max. Hmm. Oh yeah, baby. It feels like a hot tub. And with my cash dash, I'm queen of the world. Bow. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. This doesn't make me uncomfortable at all. Cowabunga! Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> what is it, Shark Week? Is that in the summer? Winter? <laughs> I have no idea. I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> just hoping the music isn't Rachel copyrighted. Was she would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. <laughs> For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. I'm curious. Thank God. But what if I had? What if Kate didn't jump, but you would be dead? So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? Um, I honestly don't know. I don't know. Well, I do, okay? So just Listen to Captain Chloe. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm Captain. As long as we don't waste this power. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Warren is nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. Friend zone no, again. No, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. But I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're going to make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Mm. Now I'm getting cold in here. 
Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, otter versus shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Hmm. That made me uncomfortable. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Hide! Hide? Who said that? Okay, where do we I go? We have to go now. Oh, okay. Are you shitting me? So this is where the the teaser Dude, was. Hide, like when we were kids. I could use my power, or just look for a hiding spot, or both. Where are they? Hello. Hmm. Hello. Probably gonna get caught, more than likely. Hello? Anybody there? Thank you. Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. Well, if one of them was David, who is the other one? Here. Who's here? I got a flashlight and a stick. Crap, he's on his way back over. Right? No, it sounds like he's going away. Okay, let's get out of here. so invisible I got Still. lucky I got lucky that the dude didn't come over and search the stalls wait turn around they're coming we have to find another way out oh, this is bullshit you can't go back to your dorm now you're a blackwell fugitive Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? <laughs> okay. Good point. Into the car. Get in. <laughs> Later, fuckers. Max, you rock. We are so fucking awesome. <laughs> that was a lot yes, of noise. We so are. I wouldn't be surprised if David comes home and is like, what were you doing there? A good question. I'm assuming that he came home anyways. This is also awkward. Is she having a nightmare again? No idea. I can't sleep. Good message to have right next to you. Always remember this moment. Photobomb! 
photo hog. Wow. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. True. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I don't I know if stealing that money was a good idea. I used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. This is copyrighted music, I guarantee you. Oh well. If it gets muted, it gets muted. Okay, I need to get dressed now. I don't think I'll be moshing today. That's always a good time to be moshing. Warren. Glad to see you didn't blow up Blackwell last night. By the way, the drive-in is actually popular, so I'm buying the ticks now. I'll have an extra one in case you change your mind. I kind of feel bad for rejecting him. But at the same time, I, I don't. I feel guilty for not busting out of here to stop David from hitting Chloe. Because I'm not really taking a route where I'm like going to be like interested in him. Yes, I might go to hell for this, but if it saves Chloe, we'll pay it back. Somehow. Yes, yeah, somehow. Wow. I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. Is that a flip phone? My very first phone I had to share with my uh, siblings. This is a flip phone I got from... Uh, I forget what it is. I think Sprint. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Oh, yeah, it's the photo that she took. I kicked it all off. Wow, sir. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. How much older is Chloe compared to Max? I love this song. Can I turn that off? Because it's probably copyrighted. Can I check out the news on this old laptop? At least we haven't been identified yet. Um, incident. Police and fire departments responded to a break-in and vandalism on the Blackwell Academy campus around 1.30 a.m. Police have not stated if they have any suspects yet. Incident. Police, police arrested a nude man with a sword at Up All Night Donuts off Peckinpah Road at approximately 8.52 p.m. The unidentified man was charged with being under the influence of energy drinks and methamphetamines. Can't spell that. It's just Matt. He is being held without bail pending further investigation. Wait, there was more. There was more. Thank God she's okay. I wonder when I can visit her. Blackwell student in stable condition. Following a public suicide threat at Blackwell Academy, Kate Marsh is reportedly in a stable condition under supervision at Arcadia Bay Med Center. No more information is available at this time. Thank God. Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. Mystic weather, supernatural science. That seems very... I was such a wuss to cower in the closet while David hit her. That seems like very, like, appropriate book. Ugh. It still reeks like a chlorine factory. 
is for see if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. I'm gonna call my closet a fashion a hole from now on. Dead. Can't compete with Rachel. Jesus. Now I am glad Chloe took that money. This guy is serious and scary. Frank, Chloe, money now. Chloe, I have your money, asshole. When? I'll text you before the end of the week, or else do not fuck with me, whore. Frank is scary. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yeah. Yes, but sadly we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? Adults are just I bigger just terrified kids. Of the day I would discover boys. Um. As Blackwell proves, boys are trouble. They are. They're way fucking gross, as you'll discover soon enough. Oh, okay, woman of the world. Please tell me what it's like to get that first magic kiss. Sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to get you all worked up. I just don't think anybody is good enough for you. Besides me. Hmm. Okay. Um. Okay. Time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Um. Uh. I'm gonna flip a coin. Flip a coin. Heads. Okay. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Take a picture, it'll last longer. It's weird that uh, Chloe had just pictures. Uh, not pictures of uh, clothes. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Of Ready Rachel's. for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast. I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Hmm. Okay. The fact that she put the photo okay, next to Rachel is so thing. touching. I didn't know that was the, uh, the wallet. Oh my god. That smells so amazing. Oh, Kate, Kate it's messaged me. It's like when me. we were kids here. Um, Max, thank you from, from my heart for reaching out to me on the roof. You're the only one who was there for me at school. The only one who truly cared. I have to believe that you were sent to give me hope. You did so much more than that. My father is grateful as well. You'll always be in our prayers. Love and blessings, your friend Kate. Hey Kate, I'm so glad you're okay. I will visit you as soon as I can. Promise. Do you ever go and do that? You probably don't. Okay, I'm just gonna progress because I don't think there's anything else morning, in the house. Joy. Rachel, uh, uh, I mean Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. 
Mm. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would erase each other to grab them from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Eggs and milk? No problem. Pancakes sound really good to me right now. Wait, well, you don't keep... You don't keep the eggs and milk in the fridge? What? Oh, okay. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Okay. I was gonna say, um, where would they be? Where would the milk be? Right there. I'm blind. Now for the mother's milk. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in LA. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but we are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood or wherever she is. Did she, was there any like information of her wanting to go to LA? I don't remember. Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? God, I hope so. She was, is smart. And she always landed on her feet. Nice save. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Um, maybe. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. Oh, <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. It really and does. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. I can't believe it's almost 2023. Like, Jesus. Wowza. Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. So do I. Oh, man. I don't want to be famous for this. Flash, snow, and freak, ap a freak eclipse. Apocalypse soon? Superheroine saves suicidal Blackwell student. Oh, let's just sit. Because I'm pretty sure most stuff is the exact same, other than like tweak dialogue. But I don't really care about that. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. <laughs> Yeah, pancakes sound really good right now. Some nice butter syrup. <laughs> Chloe's, uh. I guess taking nobody waters the plant here. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. I'm allergic. Okay. Oh, okay. Seeing you again ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. Don't we all? He's just not great at showing it. 
Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. I don't have a style either. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this. And, and I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Mm. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Feed instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Chloe, Nobody else uh... does. Chloe needs to calm herself. I, I do really... need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. I really don't like game logic where it's like, oh, I can't hear you even though you're like three feet away from me. It's very odd. Okay. I bet David has all of his surveillance secrets in his laptop. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. Just reset it. I need more clues. Let's reset the password. Nothing to see here. I had a feeling nothing was in there. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Happy sweet 18. Chloe, I'm so happy you were born today. Thanks for bringing me into the family. Love, stepdad. Mm. I don't, um... Uh, I don't have the, uh... I don't have a good relationship with my stepdad. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Nope. Nope. Okay. Stop. Okay, so I have to find some more options. Nothing in it. Was nothing on that, like, map or anything? You never know. Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. 7171. Okay. Okay, nothing with nothing new with the guns apparently. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. I feel like the ID number would be more secure than a co like combination from a padlock. Hmm. It's always good to try all the options. I could try the license number for the password. Okay. Getting a lot of uh, options. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Coming Back Home, A Veteran's Guide by Lieutenant James Edward. Okay, let's try, um, let's try the other options. Worst hacker ever. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Okay, let's go backwards then. Magic 8-Ball says no. No way, Max. Oh, come on. You told me. Okay, let's use the last one. Not you. 
such wrong. Okay. No way, Max. You totally flat top. Hmm. I'll try, um... I'll try the last one one more time. Because I have a really bad memory. No. Okay. So I need to find something else, apparently. David has been dragging this head around since 2001. Okay, 2001. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Jesus. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Honk, just married. Okay, so I have two pieces of evidence. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. It was an honor having, having you in the diner. Nice to know that gentlemen still exist. Love to talk to you. Talk again with you soon. By the way, the name is Joyce, if you forgot. Smiley face. That might be a useful password. Like, if I had to assume anything, it would be that. Like, that as the password. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Wasn't this on Cinderblocks before? I don't remember. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. To my field angel, keep your wings up. Okay. Oh, shit balls. No one's up. It's really an annoying. Um, single shot award. No. Nope. No one's up. Really? There we Score. go. Max the hacker Only took like day. every single Whoa. option ever. Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Rachel Amber profile. Rachel has been cutting class all week. Frank and Rachel meet once again. Rachel avoids her dormitory. Followed Rachel to Lighthouse. Police report case number 678. Reporting officer Anderson Barry. Rachel Amber, 18, was picked up at 2.35 p.m. at Blackwell Academy for possession of a controlled substance. This was reported by David Madsen, head of campus security, who witnessed her trying to hide or secure a suspicious medical bag. This officer was called in to question Miss Amber, who responded with threats and denials. Her bag was found to contain various illegal pharmaceuticals. Instead of stalking Kate, David hmm. could have helped her. Kate M. follows same path to every class. Okay. I don't know why that's suspicious. Overheard Kate and Dana W. talking about supplies for Vortex Club party. Drugs? Why? Why? It's a party. There's like, it could be like, like refreshments. It's like, why do you automatically assume it's drugs? Watch Kate with her church group. She knows her Bible. Kate stays in bathroom longer than other students. Drugs? Maybe she's crying. Ever thought of that? Saw Kate helping Jefferson after class. Don't trust grown men with goatees. Hey, I have a goatee. What is that supposed to mean? Kate has kept to herself since Vortex Club party. Not even church. Drugs? Wow. Apparently he has a fixation with drugs. Tried to talk to Kate about the party. She got upset and ran. Guilty. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. It is weird that he has a file on basically everyone. Uh, Max Online aliases. 
Mad Max, Max Factor, Noir Angel. Okay. I better tell Chloe about this now. It's cool just train. one more thing to make her sad and mad. Okay. I don't know if there was anything else to do with that. Nice breakfast. David, you you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Bust them like those ghosts. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras. So he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the Take loser a now, hint, David? Chloe. Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Like... Uh, like, I've kind of, like, done things to both of them. But it's like, oh, I didn't, like, help Chloe. But I've also been antagonizing David. But, to be fair, David seems more in the right than Chloe does here. Because, like, David's like, don't, don't start with this. And Chloe's just, like, egging him on. So, if... If I was in this situation, I would 100% side with David. Listen, we don't know that David did anything, and nobody has any proof against oh, him. Oh, that's what it was? As far as we know, it's Nathan Prescott who's the real threat so far. I would cut David slack here. Oh, would you? How generous, King Max. So suddenly it doesn't matter how shady David has been acting. Or that he keeps all those weird files on your classmates. Or how you're always going off on how creepy David Enough. is. I don't want anybody being accused of anything. There's been too much of that crap going on around here lately, and I don't want it in my home today. Well, I agree with that. Now, if you all don't mind, I'd like to forget about work and sit down and eat some of this incredible grub. I have to take a dump. Are you coming, Max? Don't give me the choice to rewind, please. You're going to give me the choice to rewind. Maybe I went too easy on David for Joyce's sake. Well, it's, it's not that I went on easy on him. It's more I sided with him because Chloe was being a bitch. Thanks for letting me down again, Max. Why can't you just rewind so I don't have to see you defending that asshole? Well, you weren't making a good argument, so... I'm sticking with my decision. Listen... When I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. Was that him right there? Probably. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. That has to be him. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Where's the dog? Shit. Inside. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't Where let my epic plan get in the way of yours. 
I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. What now is... to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. <gasps> Dead bird. This is so creepy. I wonder if this is because of the uh... tornadoes, snowfall, eclipses, yeah. now dying animals. Holy shit. I was gonna say, I wonder if this is because of her powers. What is going on here? Weird. Okay, let's go, um... Let's go inside the diner. What are you doing, Mr. Fisherman, dude? Um... Maxine, Pop here. I'm sorry I haven't gotten in touch sooner. I know your mom is very proud of you for saving that girl, as I, as am I. We have no doubt sending you to Blackwell was the best thing you ever demanded we do. It makes us so proud to read about you in the news and see actual video of you walking down from the roof with that girl. And if you want to come back home now to relax and maybe go to a high school around here, the door is wide open. Love, Pop. Thanks, Pop. It's been a whirlwind here. I'm not ready to come home yet. Talk later. Max. Okay. Hello, fisherman dude. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? No. Climate change. You don't think it could be like climate change or something? I'm a fisherman, no scientist. I know the sea is warming, but this... Is something new. Maybe worse. What do you mean, worse? If you knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay... Sorry, I'm just too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. Another dialogue option. Give me one second, I need to turn on my room light. morning how are the don't it fish i heard that something bad was happening to the fish in arcadia bay well since you mentioned it first there ain't no fish in arcadia bay <laughs> what come on none none worth catching and eating anymore i'm not shitting you salmon trout bass have died and migrated even the damn clams are dying Oh my god. Not the clams! But what about... Sorry, it's too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. Okay. Not the clams. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over. Bad day? Having a bad day at the office? Work is dried up around here, and I have bills to pay. Time is money to a guy like me. That sucks. Wish I could drive right out of Arcadia Bay. Whole mm. town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, and a slut trying to commit suicide. Wow. Maybe wow. you should leave it. What if I could? Now even that shifty Rachel what's her face asked me once if I'd drive her to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. Okay. Gives me, uh, opportunity. Hey. Peachy. Try. Actually, I wanted to ask if that's your bitch in 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. How the hell did you know that? Um, my friend Rachel Amber told me about this cool rig in town because I love taking pictures of truckers. You knew Rachel. She sure didn't give a rat's ass about truckers or real work. Oh, so you must have known her too? Only from the diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California wow. with all those you know who know what's. Good riddance. But you can take pictures of my truck anytime. Take care. There we go. 
Another bird. Tornadoes, snowfall, eclipses, now dying animals. Holy shit. America. Because of course. Oh god, that is so embarrassing. I'm gonna get trolled hard. I don't need to read that again. Because there was the newspaper on the table. Okay, I'm not gonna look at the bird again. I wanna talk to this uh woman. Hi, how are you? I remember you. I heard about that girl almost jumping off the Blackwell roof. Kate Marsh. I was able to actually talk her down from the roof. That was you? Well, if I had a bottle, cheers. Thanks. Wish I had a bottle for you. But I need to find out who else is involved in this. I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. People pretend to not see me. So I see everybody. And everything. Same. Uh, Frank. Frank Bowers knew Rachel. Have you seen him around? I heard him bragging that he took a gun from some trespassers. I don't know how he hasn't been arrested yet. Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. Maybe you'd like to tell me what you're hiding. Sure, why not? I feel like I can trust you as much as Chloe. And you wouldn't think I'm crazy. Too late for me to judge anybody. Plus, you're not crazy. I'm just gonna say this. I had a vision of Arcadia Bay being destroyed by a tornado. For real. Could be. Bad mojo is in the air this week. Thanks for the warning, Max. Hmm. <coughs> I don't know why that was a uh, a choice I could make. Strange. Um, I can't speak to her anymore, can I? Thanks for that storm warning, Max. And uh, I'll let you know if I find out anything. Okay. You're welcome. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Ugh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You That's fucking That's a weird demand. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer. Or even Nathan. And then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans. <laughs> nah, that's funny. Oh, okay. I didn't think that was going to really have consequences, but... I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. Okay, same thing. Okay. So I do need to go get the information about him. Why did he even give me those choices? Very bizarre. Okay. There she is. Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate, <laughs> counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. Um. 
I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. Okay. There she is. I don't need to Thanks. see that again. I'm glad. Well, I'm, I'm I heard curious. Really you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Hmm. Because there's other... There's other things I'm curious she about. Is. Thanks. Uh I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. Hmm. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. True. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, and then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Really? There she I want to try to get Super all the, all the uh, dialogue exhausted. Hmm. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird okay. town? I think this is the only I'd option take a left. city with normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. Okay. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh, oh look, Max Amber. Nice outfit. Looks like ass on you. Hey, that's sure two people that said that. Me, you're in enough trouble after you got David fired. Wait, Considering David you're in a fired. public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. No worries, because you're the one trying to fake it till you make it. At least you were smart enough to keep your big mouth shut in the principal's office. There was a regret I had. I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit. My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. <sighs> hmm. Okay, why are you slowing down on me? Rachel. Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if that's the information I need. Why does it slow down? I don't understand. I think that was the information I, I needed. I Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. 
I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Hmm, okay. I think that's all the information I can exhaust, so... What the fuck now? David Madsen is looking for that gun. He might show up on your RV step. Ooh, I'm trembling. I don't need to take his little museum piece. You know I saw that photo Rachel gave you. Uh, mm. uh, how do you know about that? Huh? Chloe, right? She just told me that one of Rachel's favorite pictures was the one she did for you. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. She was just a natural beauty, you know? Wait, wait, let me, let me find it. Here, judge for yourself. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. Key brought. Now back to Chloe. There we go. Oh, I thought I was able to go on either side, but apparently not. Okay, that was a weird little cutscene. I'm always gonna try to save her. Whew. That was close, Alyssa. Okay, Max. This is the third time you've saved me from harm's way. You must be my angel. Don't thank me. I haven't done anything special. You've paid your dues mm. by saving Kate's life on the roof. You really are a Blackwell hero, Max. Um. I'm just glad she came down. Kate's a good person, my friend. And she was almost bullied to death by a video. It's fucked up, but you're an amazing friend. I want to make sure she knows how many friends she really has from now on. Amen to that. Max, we should get a posse to see her in the hospital when they allow visitors. Let's hang later and talk some more. I don't know if like every single time I'm able to uh, warn her, like I don't know if I missed her one or not. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. Where'd you get the bone? On your mark, get set. Throw! Get the treat, treat boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. What would happen if I, I threw it in the road? Keys. But let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. No. I'm not gonna throw it in the road because I have a feeling he would get hit by a car. No thanks. Damn. I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Hmm. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. Probably not gonna find much. I know. Just daydreaming. Righty then. You scope Can't the area while I like picture Frank and Chloe drinking beer, beer and hanging out. I love it when dialogue gets cut Frank off. Frank is almost games. a made for TV hoarder. This place is nasty. By love it, I mean it annoys the crap out of me. Frank must have a reason to keep a police raider on nearby. 
That would be so cool to take this baby on the road with Chloe. Someday I want to, like, get my own RV. Crappy wife That way here. I don't... It's taking days to download porn. Yuck. That way I don't have to, uh... Pay rent. I think the doggy likes his bone more. Okay. The archetypal filthy guy dishes. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Hmm. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. Yeah, like a Whoa, stereo. What the hell is he doing with that dog? <sighs> Stop it. How yes. can somebody live like this? Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Mm. That's a pretty extreme lighter. That's a lighter? It's more like a, uh, a blow dryer. Is Frank going to deal online now? Noob's Guide to a Web Business. Hmm. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. Why would you open I it, though? I cannot believe he would wear a collar and a furry mask. You're dumb. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Oh. Ooh, Frank's stash. Yeah, I was gonna say, please don't let me take it. No more secrets. Okay, there has to be like a screwdriver or something around here. Or is it the blowtorch? Max, you didn't tell me you took photos of Frank in action. I'm seriously ignoring you. Pompidou? <laughs> For reals? That's a poodle's name. Okay, maybe I do have to use the blowtorch. Or do I use the knife? This is almost as good as a set of keys. My blade will open any portal. Hmm. Interesting. Why is that in the vent? Hiding it. Oh man. Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Frankie B. Hope you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monstrous bitch and took it out on you. And poor Pompadou. There's a lot of weird shit going on in my life and sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank God for you. You're one of the best things I have here and I smile when I think of us together. Let's just drive out of here forever. Love you always. Heart, Rachel Amber. Wait, there was more than that. Crap. Oh well. Um... Oh, I can't actually do anything else with the other vent. Okay. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. True. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years, my mother gloms on the stepfucker, now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! You totally defended step stalker. Fuck everybody. Chloe! I had a feeling that was gonna come into play, but... I just didn't think it was gonna be that bad. Hmm. 
He's still eating after all this time. Doesn't look like he touched it. Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. Um... Let's just change the subject. So now it's Rachel's fault too? Jesus, she was banging that pig, Frank! Bitch lied to my face, oh, Max! okay. I can't trust anybody again. Everybody pretends to care until they don't. Even you. Chloe Price, you better take that back. Right now. Okay, fine. But you just don't understand. It's like I'm being punished by the universe. So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? Um... You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. I don't think that was Chloe, his fault. Your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of nope. course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Um, you're still here. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do you this You seem ungrateful. On I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Like, I could have just left you to die in that bathroom. But no, you have to choose to blame me. Terrible. Good memories. Oh my god. What is happening now? Well, you can transcend through time and space now through photographs. Apparently so. Yep. There we go. Ah, it's bright. Someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. It did. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey, you look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah, I just... Weird. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe, give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well, I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that What's far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. Crimes. I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13 year old self. If you want to That's weird. How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Chloe is just so damn happy and carefree. So how many eggs? And this is the last time, unless I change it. I love William like he was in my own family. I won't let him die today. I won't. Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. 
Just make me look young. Ha 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 ha. Just make me look young. Wait, why is that a choice? Joyce loves William so much. Um, good luck, hubby. We're so proud of your promotion. You get a week of two whales waffles in your own house. Your loving wifey. I don't know why taking a photo was a choice. You can see the bond between Chloe and her father. And the love. Now this is a photo. Whoa, it's all blurry here. Hello. Like I can't step out of the photographic bounds. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Oh, yeah, I miss movie nights here. Cookies and popcorn. Run. I need to be able to uh, locate where uh -huh. this stuff is. Okay, so these keys are under there. Actually, I probably need to watch him uh, pick him up, and it's like, wait a minute. Aha! Uh -huh. You can't hide from me forever. Now lock up after I leave, play nice, try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Hmm. She's never leaving me. Be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's Score. Jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Hmm. I can't just hold on to the keys. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. I knew this thing would come in handy. God dang it. He's getting here. I didn't know. I didn't realize he was going to be able to do that. If I would have known that, I wouldn't have put him there. Like right next to him. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. Probably not gonna work. See me how I'm. God dang it. I knew this thing would. It's annoying. I don't know where to put them. Okay, what are you doing? Too far. Be grateful for that someday. Crap. I need to hide the keys where William won't hear his dumb beeper. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. I don't know where else I would put it. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. My family never took fun, goofy photos like this. You're bankrupting me. It's not gonna work. Same as how the little thing. Nope. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Oh, there we go. I'm dumb.
There we go. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries and and it'll save the environment. Yeah, you the sold environment. Me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Into the void you go. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Well, life is Chloe, strange. I am awesome. We are awesome. Butterfly effect. Aww. She never went through a punk phase. Phase. Never mar married uh, David. They were never at odds. She got a truck. Hmm. She still went to Blackwell, huh? Whoa. Why is she hanging out with the cool kids? Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon Max oh, cold every day. Never Maxine. I know, sorry, Mad Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Oh, this is weird. Do you want to go hit the girl's potty and smoke a peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? Why, you, it didn't seem like you were all that interested. Oh no, Th this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. There's no going back now. You don't have a photo to go back to. Whoa, David. Driving the bus now. Interesting. So she was popular. Uh, David was never the security guard. William is alive. Chloe never went through a punk phase. That's a lot of birds. Something has to go wrong here. Because there's no, there's no weird occurrence yet. Oh, there it is. Beached whale. Zah. Beached whales. Oh, that's actually rather sad.
You're taking your sweet time. I got a bad feeling about this. She like dead. Max Caulfield. Taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor! Uh-oh. He's in a wheelchair? What happened? What? I can only assume because the last photo was um, of a truck that she got into a car accident. And it left her as like a paraplegic or whatever. Wow. So instead of William dying, or like getting affected, Chloe got affected. Hmm. Interesting stuff. Okay, let's look at the choices. Uh, 48% stole the money because of course. 78% kissed Chloe because of course. 22% sided with David because of course. Um, you kept Frank's dog from harm, 95%. Um, wait, how do I get the gun? 34% Frank has David's gun. Wait, what? Who's Lisa? I don't remember who Lisa is. Oh wait, Lisa is the uh, the plant, isn't it? Forty-two percent. Um, seventy-two percent didn't help Warren with his exam. Didn't know I could do that. Fifty-nine percent. You were on the Vortex Club party list. Uh, twenty-one percent erased some names from the Vortex Club party list. What? I didn't know that was going to be a thing. 63% did not erase the cop's message. 63% uh, helped Alyssa. 34% warned the homeless woman. Why did people not warn her? Is it because people didn't realize they could? 52% uh, took a photo in the past. 64% uh, did not leave a mark on the fireplace. Oh, yeah. Um, I, uh, I rewinded past that point. Okay. End of the world. Okay. Well, that's going to do it for episode three. Wow. Wow. What a twist. What the twist? M. Night Shyamalama Ding Dong shows up. Um, I don't know when I'm going to uh, get around to this again because I don't really have a whole lot of time to dedicate like uh, three hours-ish to these episodes. Not, not regularly anyways. Um, because it took me like over a week to get back to this, but I'm hoping I can get to it sooner rather than later. Um, we'll see what happens, but anyways, thank you everyone for watching. I'm not going with outros, so I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye